The following video is not endorsed by PokeCon. and welcome to a brand new episode of Lewis's Adventures. I'm Lewis, your host. In this episode, I will be at PokeCon, which is a Pokemon convention where I'm a guest at. Originally, this was supposed to be about me surfing with Ocean Outfitters, but due to technical difficulties with my iPhone, as well as not having enough space on my camera's memory card, the video had to be scrapped. Plus, a lot of other YouTubers couldn't make it that weekend. Instead, I interview the man who made it possible, Michael Hall himself, as well as meeting another upcoming YouTuber named Z-Man OSXD Type 2, real name Isaiah. Plus, I will show you the work that went into making the get well message for the sick kids at Children's Hospital before Sinbad and the others went down to visit them on day one, talk about Pokemon theory, and lastly, a panel featuring Sinbad, St. Nick, and the others. Okay, I'm here at PokeCon where we will be having a lot of fun at. Hey. It's filming down there. We have St. Nick here in the house. We have Tyrone who's dressed up as Gokai Green for you Sentai fans or Super Mega Force screen for you Power Ranger fans. As Michael has Addison and the whole gang rehearse for their message for the sick kids over at the Children's Hospital, took many tries, but in the end they were able to finally get that message out to the kids and they did a great job in doing it. Curtis was dressed up as an alternate version of Spider-Man. Alex, who didn't go, he was dressed up as Brock. And of course, Addison was just himself, while Tyrone was dressed up as Super Mega Force Green from Power Rangers Super Mega Force or Don aka Gokai Green from Kaizo Sentai Gokaiger and of course Terrence was dressed up as Pikachu it was all great just wish I could have went but of course I was filming the raids I went on with with, with, with the rest of the gang who stayed behind that day hey kids it's Misty and we have a special message Parkour the Power Rangers, electrified as a statue, grilling like a YouTuber, spectacular as a spider, and tough as rock type. And for all of us, you get well soon! Justin! Well, that's all for PokeCon Day 1. I'll be back for Day 2 tomorrow. And we are here, back for Day 2 of PokeCon. Where we're back for more fun and more excitement. 
And we're joined here by Sinbad and the Gorsi. Isaiah, who I met yesterday. As you see here, we got different gaming consoles. How's it going? I'm Quick Paw, YouTuber extraordinaire, here with Will on the street, filming for his latest episode. Time to go upstairs and film. I'm gonna join you. And we're joined by Will on the street. <laughs> and we're back in here once again, and we have different games in here. This is Liddy Sauce, in the words of Sinbad itself. Pokemon 
Uh, then over here we have Ash Manager. Um, taking the further, taking the bond with humans further, you, uh, Ash Manager bonding with Ash to reach the next level after the third evolution. Usually Pokemon stop at that point. Um, and because of Ash, she's able to do all of these incredible, amazing things other than win the Pokemon League. Um, so that bond is very, very, very similar to Mega Evolution. So that got me thinking, if Astronition can just all of a sudden kind of make a uh, Mega Evolve, can other Pokemon do it too? Um, so after finding out like what will help Pokemon evolve, they, the humans started doing some uh, science on them. Here we have Carablast and Shelvin. This is Carablast and that's Shelvin. You trade these two Pokemon and they'll become uh, Excavalier and Excelsior. Um, and the way that you, you trade them, when you trade them, Carablast starts to attack the shoulder and there's like an electrical occurrence, so you don't see exactly what's happening, but they know for a fact you will get these two Pokemon. It seems kind of cool that they're making these Pokemon. It was that good. I still have it from this day. It's still in my storage, waiting until there's a time I can max it out because that was my my spirit thing. I didn't know it was a hundo. A per the hundo is mostly for our terms. A perfect Pokemon that has all its stats in 15. This, however, this artillery I still have. I had no idea what it was until I got home. I said, I put this, I didn't know what it was. I couldn't tell us what it was. And you realized it was a perfect artillery. So, how about using the map? Have you ever, you know, uh, had to race across the city for like a, a, something that popped up on the map? Uh, yes, I did. Um, a guy that I, that I know from Pogoko, I met him years ago when we were traveling the Red Bank. His name is Shaw. Uh, we were traveling the Red Bank one day, and when we were getting back, I saw on the map there was a Teddy Ursa, a perfect Teddy Ursa, right on the Vice Street Expressway. He said, You gotta let me out. I gotta go, I gotta go after this. I cannot let this one go. And he let me out. Once I got to it, it was right near, uh, I guess it was right near Logan Square or whatever, or Logan Circle, what do you call it? I caught it, that's when the map was, the map helped me because honestly, I still have that, I have all that 10 years in my nursery after that, but the fact is, I could have lost my chance at it if I did not tell Shaw to let me out of his car that moment. If I did not do it, I probably would never have caught that. Yeah, it's interesting. I think of a few times where I had to just drop everything I was doing if I saw something on that. And of course, if you were connected to Discord as well, it will notify you and just distract you all day. Definitely. Yeah, so I'm kind of happy that's all done. The maps are totally down and don't exist anymore, which is I don't know, it's nice there, and sad at the same time. There could be one curious why it's not around because um, spoofing, which you probably know what spoofing is, um, it's someone that uses a joystick on their phone or a tablet. Why did that become that around the world? Because of the spoofing problem, that's probably why that is not around because if you're someone that spoofs, you have to clothe myself before I can go over this route. So, I got dressed and I didn't put on socks, I just had to slip on shoes and I hauled to get to that vault and uh, I caught it with like 30 seconds left. And it was a, a high, perfect vault to vault to see guard guard war. It was the first one to ever pop up. So that was absurd. And it was worth The only people I was able to meet at PokeCon were Isaiah, as I already mentioned earlier in this video, and of course, Will on the streets, the real name Will Rivera of Silver Mania, and the man who, behind PokeCon himself, Michael Hall. He helped my pal Sinbad make this possible, 
and if it wasn't for neither of them, this convention would never have happened. But hopefully next year, PokeCon will be bigger and much better than it was this year. I'm here with Michael Hall, one of the people behind PokeCon. Correct. Hi Michael, I'm Lewis, and I'm here to ask you some questions for my channel. Okay, ask away. How'd you get involved with PokeCon? Um, I used to go to a lot of the, I did a lot of security for the conventions for the other cons, like uh, Philly, Philadelphia Con up in Expo, Oaks, PA, and uh, some other things. So I would always see it from the inside, and um, there was never really Pokemon represented enough. So I said, hey, why not have a Comic Con for Pokemon? A Pokemon, PokeCon. How did you get into Pokemon? Uh, I guess it, like most of us when we were little, uh, we all probably watched Pokemon when we were younger. I'm a little older than most of you. But we did the same thing. And then Pokemon Go came out. When Pokemon Go came out, I purchased stock in Nintendo. So I purchased stock in Nintendo. And then I said, I might as well play the game. And then I started playing Pokemon Go. What is your favorite Pokemon? And lastly, what advice do you have for those who want to make content on YouTube like myself? Well, my favorite Pokemon, I'm old school, so uh, it would have to be in the whole Blastoise, Charizard, uh, that era. And my favorite Pokemon by far is Charizard. And the black Charizard is way cool. Now, in terms of uh, YouTubers, I know a lot of YouTubers, I think you should just be different. I think be yourself, because people will love who you are, and just also be different, do different things. Um, you know, be out there. Remember, you're a personality, so you want to be that personality that a lot of people want to watch, good or bad, a big personality. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Well, PokeCon didn't go as we had hoped it would. But we still enjoyed ourselves. Sinbad and the whole gang got to go down to Children's Hospital and cheer up the sick children with some joy and costume characters. We did some Pokemon Go raids, which you'll see in my Pokemon Go play video. And lastly, I got to do my interview with one of the people who was behind this. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell of alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As I always say, it's time for adventure!